Hey guys, today we will be working on how to uh, do how to use Beam tool in static structural analysis. So, first of all, like, share, and uh, subscribe my channel. Thank you. So, starting with the static structural analysis, we will be adding its own geometry in the design model. So, click on geometry and turn on the line bodies first. Okay, right click and new design model geometry. We will make a geometry inside the design modeler with line bodies so that it could be converted into a body and we will be using to the sketch. So right click on XY plane and look at and then sketch a line. We want a beam. So sketch up a line like this and you will give dimension for it like this. And it's 60 you can make it 40 millimeters. Meters sorry and now uh, the line has been made so now we can make it a, uh, lines from the sketches so select the sketch the line is now made and now we will be uh, putting the cross section uh, like rectangular which shape you want to make uh, it will be converted into it okay so i want a rectangular shape so convert a, uh, so you can use i want to make uh, 5 mm width wide and 5 meters uh, height of it so now we can add it to in, in the line of the line body. So now putting it in, you can see the rectangle one. So now, uh, sorry, uh, you can see the rectangle number one. So you, our body is now made. Now we can generate it. Okay, our body is now made. We can view it from view and using cross sections already, like this. So our body is now made. Now we will be uh, closing the design model and coming into the meshing mechanical. So double click on model and uh, it will turn on the mechanical mode of solid uh, ANSYS. Afterwards we will mesh and uh, after meshing we will put in the beam tool analysis into it and after boundary condition. So now our geometry will be imported into mechanical mode. So you can see the mesh and uh, you can make right click on mesh and generate mesh. So the mesh will be generated and now we will be putting our boundary conditions like uh, pick support so we will be uh, we will be selecting the edge of our uh, uh, line so like this and one vertex has been selected now we will be putting the uh, force into it like this and uh, this you can select this line line of the body uh, uh, line of the line body so now we can generate the line Okay, we can use our negative y direction in downward direction so that it would be made into a cantilever beam. Like this, we can make 1000 in negative y direction. So now we'll be adding the beam tool. Click on solution and go into toolbox. Toolbox, you can see the beam tool has now activated. Okay, so put uh, click on beam tool and you can see the beam tool is now added. Insert and use beam tool stress and uh, maximum bending stress. So now we can solve it. It will take some uh, time uh, because it's uh, somehow heavy. So now our uh, uh, stress is now calculated. So using the bending stress, we can see our uh, colors are now color scheme is now added. So we can animate it also like this. Okay. So our bending stress has been now calculated through beam tool. Okay. So likes, share, and subscribe. Thank you.